Hi everyone, this is Francis with KTWU and I am visiting the Topeka Zoo and Conservation Center here today. And right now I'm in the tropical rainforest with Joe and he's going to answer some questions for us about sloths. Joe, what are some of the differences between two and three toed sloths? That is a good question. Uh, one thing right off the bat I can tell you is that they actually both have three claws on their hind feet. Okay. So it's really the front feet that you see that difference. Two toed sloths have two claws on their on their front legs, whereas the th the three toads have three, so they have the same on front and back. Right. Um, there are some facial differences. Um, the two toed sloths have a longer snout, and the three toed sloths kind of have a more uh, smushed face. Okay. Um, one really big difference is that. The two-toed sloths tend to be more or less strictly nocturnal. Uh, all of their activity is pretty much done at night, whereas your uh, three-toed sloths tend to be a little bit more active during the day. Okay. So that's one really big difference. Uh, their diet, a lot of their diet is similar. Um, a lot of leaves and fruit, that kind of stuff. Wild, their diet is primarily just leaves, just the leaves on the tree that they eat. Um, now, if they run into some fruit, they'll be glad to eat that. Uh, maybe a bird egg, that's a nice treat too. Um, maybe a random small vertebrate, like a little lizard even possibly, but primarily just leaves. Um, and one of the interesting things about two-toed sloths is that they actually don't have enamel on their teeth, and their teeth just continue to grow, so they actually need to eat those leaves to grind down their teeth, otherwise they would just grow out of control. Because okay. like our teeth, if we were to eat leaves all day, other than it wouldn't taste good, uh, it would really do a number on them. Okay. <laughs> and um, how big can they get? Um, there's not a huge difference between males and females, but a really big sloth would be about 20 pounds. Probably most of them would fall in the 10 to 19 pound range, roughly. Okay. And honestly, a lot of that weight is going to be undigested food in their body that just hasn't moved its way out. Because their metabolism is so slow. Why are they slow? That is a, that's, I'm glad you asked that. That is a great question. So, it's not because they're lazy. Right. That is very popular misconception. They are slow because, like I mentioned earlier, they mostly eat leaves, right? Very low caloric value, not very nutritious. So, in order to survive, they have to just conserve all the energy they can. So, they stay very still. And combined with that, they have an extremely low body temperature, down in the 80s most, most of the time. Okay. Um, so, between those two things, they can actually survive on a very low nutritional value diet. Thank you, Joe. Those are all the questions I have for you today. And thank you, everyone, for joining us. Keep checking back with us for some more exciting videos.